what is business intelligence so business intelligence is an umbrella term that uh, combines the architectures tools databases analytical tools applications and methodologies the entire things uh, combined uh, we call it as business intelligence so business analytics is a part of uh, or one of the element of business intelligence the earlier we call it as the executive information system now call it as business intelligence a new name has been given for the executive information system which was used previously now we are stated like business intelligence so the business analytics form part of the most important component of the business intelligence so business intelligence uh, comprises the entire architecture which consists of the tools databases analytical tool applications and methodologies so the objective of business intelligence is to enable real time access to data to enable manipulation of data and to give business managers and analysts that ability to conduct appropriate analysis so this part this uh, the managers part i mean the ability to analyze or uh, ability to conduct appropriate analysis which uh, form part of the business analytics and before the data uh, i mean data collection you know there are some preliminaries uh, background information etc to be collected that also form part of the business intelligence so the entire system which constitute the business intelligence the entire system which constitute uh, you know like that the real time access to data and enable manipulation of data and to give business managers and analysts uh, the ability to conduct appropriate analysis so by analyzing historical and current data situations and performance decision makers get valuable insights that enable them to make more informed and better decisions so this slide shows the job titles uh, if you learn business analytics well you can be part of uh, these job titles management analyst marketing analyst financial analyst budget analyst and marketing research analyst so uh, these uh, these are the job profiles which are suitable for the people who completed the course of business analytics as well as the business intelligence so this slide shows the history of business intelligence uh, the term business intelligence was coined by the garner group in mid 90s and before that uh, the concept was uh, much older uh, it has its roots in the mis management information system reporting system of the 1970 in 1970s and 80s we call it as management information system decision support system which i said already so now the term the business management information system and decision support systems are now termed as the business intelligence and business analytics form part of the major component of the business intelligence right now so now a good business intelligence based enterprise information system contains all the information uh, uh, to the uh, executives needed which should be provided so the entire data means real time data has to be collected and data has to be analyzed and the information has to be provided to the managers for taking of decisions so the original concept of uh, enterprise information system was transformed into uh, business intelligence executive information system was transformed into business intelligence in 2005 business intelligence systems started to include artificial intelligence capabilities as well as powerful analytical capabilities now it's very sophisticated they are the business intelligence using very sophisticated softwares and technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, for uh, the analysis this slide shows the business intelligence cycle there are various uh, stages you know data integration data governance uh, data warehouse uh, and data warehouse modernization data, data discovery data visualization and master data data quality management so these all elements are part of the business intelligence okay so uh, here there are a lot of functions i mean the data governance you know is very very prominent area right now data governance now uh, you can be familiar with the surveillance capitalism and this based on this data governance companies are successful in the uh, like you you have experienced the success of uh, fang business model facebook amazon apple uh, 
uh, Google, uh, etc. These companies are outperforming because of these data governance models. So uh, I would like to say that uh, the business intelligence is a very pertinent, uh, you know, very pertinent part of the business uh, right now. So nowadays, uh, the, I, th I would like to say that the majority of the business are using this business intelligence platform uh, for and data governance platform for their day to day activities and decision making. So this slide shows the architecture of business intelligence. A business intelligence has four major components. The first one is a data warehouse where it, you know, uh, all the data, uh, data were uh, stored and uh, it, the data warehouse is been updating with the new data. And, uh, you know, nowadays the data warehouse of the major, you know, data governance, so-called data governance companies, they have real time access over the data and they are keeping these minutes to minutes and seconds to second big data. Uh, and these data are, are, are to be analyzed using these machine learning and artificial intelligence based platforms. And the second architecture, second component uh, is the business analytics, a collection of tools for manipulating, mining and analyzing the data. So, you know, there are softwares like R, Python, etc. may be used for the business analytics. So data warehouse is the first uh, architecture and the second one is business analytics platforms. And the third one is business performance management. Uh, for monitoring and analyzing the performance and this performance management also they are using because the, the using of these data and uh, uh, after analy analyzing it and we are getting some information and this information can be used for the decision making. So business performance are also monitored uh, while using this uh, information and there is a dashboard for uh, a user interface also. So these four uh, 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 part of these four elements are the components of uh, uh, business intelligence architecture. So now uh, I can say uh, the business value of business intelligence analytical applications. So there are many situations or many problem solving situations in which we can use the business intelligence. So first one customer segmentation. The customer segmentation means uh, this is a part of marketing and we need to segment the customers according to the various characteristics of the customers. So the question is, the research question is, what market segments do my customers fall into and what are their characteristics? That is a research question here, the customer segmentation. So uh, the business value after the business analysis is personalized customer relationship for higher satisfaction and retention. So there are, there are segmentation based on the business analytics and business intelligence and uh, the, 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 the outcome is personalized customer relationship for higher satisfaction and retention. And the next research question propensity to buy. So the, uh, the, the problem, I mean the analytical application propensity to buy. The research question is or the, the business question is which customers are most likely to respond uh, to the, a particular company's promotion. The outcome will be target customers based on their need to increase their loyalty to product line and also increase campaign profitability by focusing on the most likely to buy. So after the business analytics, this outcome may be reached and the customer profitability and the research question is what is the lifetime profitability of my customer? what will be the per unit or per customer profit. So make individual business transactions decisions based on the overall profitability of the customer. So that kind of uh, uh, value or outcome we will reach after business analytics. And the uh, uh, next problem is fraud detection. And the research question is how can I tell which transactions are likely to be fraudulent. So that question may be uh, answered through business analytics and the outcome is quickly determine fraud and take immediate action to minimize cost okay the next application is customer attrition so which customers is at risk of leaving from the business so that that can be the outcome may be prevent loss of high value customers and let go uh, of lower value customers okay and the last one is channel optimization and uh, uh, the research question is which is the best channel to reach my customers in each segment so the value interact with customers based on their preference 
and you are need to manage costs. So this information I have taken from SAMA and its cash curve data mining primer for the data warehousing professional. Okay, thank you.